Hi friends, uh, here uh, again we come up with some new problem. In this problem, uh, basically it is asking uh, to calculate uh, peak value and average value of uh, current IB, which is basically charging a battery which is of uh, 3 volts voltage. So here, uh, uh, this is basically somewhat uh, complex problem, so we will go by step by step. So the very first step is find a condition for uh, non-zero value of uh, this uh, battery charging current IB. So now let's go. See, first of all, the diodes are ideal diodes. So here for non-zero condition of uh, IB, the diode D2 must be conducting. So the diode D2 must be conducting. So in order to conduct diode D2, this voltage let's say this is vx this is must be vx must be greater than b this is battery voltage that is 3 volts basically so the vx voltage must be greater than 3 volts then only the diode d2 will start conducts and ib the battery current will be the non-zero so for that case c this happens when V i is greater than 3 volt. If V i is greater than 3 volt, but diode D2 is conducting, D2 is on, then in that case V x is 3 volts. So clearly for this case D1 must be off. So here we should note that whenever D2 starts conducting, the Vx anode voltage of diode D2 must be greater than 3 volts and it will happen when Vi is greater than 3 volts. For Vi is less than 3 volt, the I choose the shortest resistance path that is D1 because when D1 is on, whole current will goes through the D1 this direction because the diode D1 is offering no resistance and it is short circuited and D2 is off for Vi is less than 3 volts. So the very st step 2 in step 2 what we do we plot we plot the diode current so this is the basically the vi voltage input voltage so this is vi so this is vi it is basically a sine wave with uh, 10 volts peak so this is vi and the diode starts conducting as soon as VI is greater than 3 volts so let's say this is 3 volts this is 3 volts and again this is also 3 volts so for this part of the time the diode starts conducting and this is IB and the peak value is 100 milliamperes because diode D1 is off condition in this case. So entire current will be flowing through D2 and its peak value is 100 um, milliamperes as given. Now peak value we have already calculated and we need to calculate the average value. So this is the uh, here is the tricky part basically average value. So here we have already calculated the diode is conducting between these two time intervals basically this is less let's say t1 t2 or whatever it may be uh, theta1 and theta2 angle angular point of view so it is basically vi is given 10 volt peak sine omega t in step 3 we will calculate 
So basically, let's plot the input voltage. First of all, this is omega t. So this is the our input voltage, um, which is basically a sinusoidal voltage. So it is 10 volt. So we need to calculate. So omega t. Let's take it as a theta. So we need to calculate what is this uh, value of omega t, basically in terms of theta one. So clearly, 10 sine theta is equals to 3 volts so when this happens sine theta is 0.3 so let's use a calculator for this uh, let's calculate in uh, um, uh, radians so 0.3 it is clearly giving 0 0.304 theta is sine inverse 0.3 in radians it is 0 0.304 radians so from here again it is conducting up to this part only so at this value also theta 1 theta 2 both are equal so basically this half half portion of this sinusoidal is in angular form it is a pi radians because it's a period is a 2 pi basically so the diode conducting for pi minus 2 theta only see because this portion it is not conducting again sorry this portion this portion this white portion it is not conducting basically this is off this is off only on for phi minus 2 theta time only so now average value is basically average value is 1 over t time period and area of the waveform so here time period t is 2 pi and area is area of this uh, rectangular pulse is 100 milliamperes and this time period is phi minus 2 theta so 100 milliamperes minus multiplied 5 minus 2 times 304 basically so let's see how much this value will be let's use a calculator base again so 1 over 2 phi and 100 multiplied 5 minus 2 times 0 0.304 so which is giving you 40.323 so 40.323 milliamperes is the answer for uh, average value of the current now coming to the last part that is uh, let's take uh, step 5 see if uh, here it is asking the peak value of uh, vi is reduced by 9 uh, 10% so basically earlier vi is basically 10 volts so if it is reduced by uh, down by 10 percent then new value is basically 9 volts so in this case also the current waveform basically looks same only same rectangular pulse but this width this width pi minus 2 theta is changing basically because the diode conduction time uh, is uh, uh, depends on the peak value of this input voltage so now the uh, latest value of theta is nothing but sine theta basically it is 9 times sine theta so let's write uh, clearly so it is 9 sine theta is how much is the battery voltage? is 3 volts so theta must be sine inverse 1 over 3 so let's calculate what is this uh, value sign inverse uh, 1 over 3 is 0.333 so it is 0.339 uh, theta is 0.339 radians basically so clearly the peak value will not change the same current uh, will pass through the diode d2 so the peak current will not change but the average current do change so now the average current is 1 over 2 pi and 100 this area is 100 multiplied 
phi minus 2 theta so here pi minus 2 theta is 2 times 0.339 so let's use a calculator again so let's check how much uh, this value can be this is 1 over 2 pi 100 times uh, um, what is that uh, pi minus uh, pi minus 2 times 0.339 over 2 times pi which is equal to 39.209 so average ib average is how much it is 39.209 39.209 milliamperes this is the final answer in second part the peak value will not change but uh, average value do change Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel.